High is the one who's causing World War III. The Most High is going to be the one to draw America into Iran. All right. That's that's the spirit of the Most High. He's a man of war. He's a man of revenge. Of revenge. Of revenge. And the Most High is going to destroy all his adversaries. So those that are not with the Most High are going to be destroyed. They come from a far country, from the end of the earth, in the heaven. Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. Yeah, the weapons of his indignation are the thermonuclear missiles. The Spirit of the Lord is going to be within the missiles, direct these missiles, and hit every target that they're aimed for. All right? And America's the bullseye. Okay? Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Yeah, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. This is the spirit of the Lord, to destroy Babylon, to destroy America. This is the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Completely destroy this place. All right? And not to rebuild it, neither to be destroyed and to completely come a desolation for now and forever. To redeem his elect and, and to establish righteousness on the earth. That's what it's about, to reestablish righteousness. But he's gotta first cleanse this land. All right? And that, cle that cleansing agent is gonna be that, that fire, all right? Fire is a purifier. So that's why the Most High chose missiles. All right. Three. Uh, how ye for the day of the Lord is, is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yeah, it shall come as a destruction from who? Read that from again. The, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. Exactly. It shall come as destruction from the Almighty. Yeah, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that goes to the scripture what? There's a time and a place for everything. And the time and place that we're in is uh, warfare. All right? The time of your end. The time of Esau's end. The time of the other nation's end. The time of two thirds end. Because two thirds are living good. All right? At least they act like they do. All right? Yeah, they think they own the throne, man. Yeah, they think they inherited the kingdom already. But we ain't we ain't we ain't fucking gonna be a uh, uh, par partners with the so-called white man ruling. All right, it ain't gonna work like that. All right, we ain't gonna have no joint rulership with Esau. The hell with that. All right, Esau, okay, the head of this wickedness, he's gonna be destroyed. All right. Therefore, all heads. Be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Yeah, every man's heart shall melt. All right. <laughs> it says every man's heart shall melt. All right. I mean, they're gonna be in a state of shock, panic. They ain't gonna know what to do. And they're literally gonna melt. All right, right where they stand. And they shall be afraid. That's right. They're going to be afraid. Wait a minute. Uh, get me the scripture. Uh, who will not be utterly beaten into powder. Oh, tell me. At his presence. At his presence. The Lord will threaten. And who shall not be afraid? Come on. Sure. Second Nazareth 16 verse 11. <laughs> The Lord shall threaten, who shall not be utterly beaten to powder yeah, in at the, his presence. And the Most High is going to threaten you with what? That thermonuclear fire. All right? Read that again. Yeah, read it again. Right? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. Con. So when the Most High comes, he's coming to do one thing. Utterly consume the land and everything in the land. Uh, get me uh, uh, Zephaniah. I believe it's Zephaniah, the first chapter. 
got it already? Man, it's... <laughs> That's a spirit, go ahead. Zephaniah, one verse... No, you gotta go, you gotta go. Zephaniah, one verse two. I will utterly consume all things off the land, save the Lord. So America ain't gonna last forever, all right? Despite popular belief. And the one person that carries that belief, <laughs> the, the one person, I say, that the one nation that really upholds that belief is the Israelites, man. The one nation that should be completely against this place, considering they came over here in cargo slave ships as slaves to their enemy, the so-called white man, is the one nation that really believes that America is going to continue forever. Like they really got something to, 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 to make this place their rest, as the scriptures would say. gonna exist all right in a minute all right Hollywood is not gonna exist all right Facebook because that's that's what they believe they believe oh I can become a, a hip-hop artist a rap artist yeah sell my soul that's that's the, that's the, that's the spirit of a uh, uh, wicked Israelites man they'd rather be a hip-hop artist and become a faggot than to endure and wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to receive an everlasting kingdom, receive spiritual power. You know, that's why. That's why uh, uh, two thirds well, they're going to be considered least in the kingdom. They're ultimately going to be saved, but they're going to be considered least in the kingdom. All right. Uh, Isaiah 13 verse uh, eight. They shall be, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travelleth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Con, that's beautiful, man. That, read that again. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. Now, if you ever had. <laughs> the chance and opportunity to listen to a woman give birth in a hospital, she screams, man. That's how much pain she is. She screams, man. And that's how every single one of these people are going to be, man. Like a woman giving birth to a child. All right? Screaming for their lives. Suffering. All right? What the hell are you going to do if you lose your arm? There ain't no hospital. There ain't no 911. All right, you can. First aid kit. There ain't no first aid kit. You don't got a motherfucking band aid to put on a brew, a cut, man. You don't got shit. You don't got nothing, man. No food, no shelter. Read that last part again. All right, this is this is what we're howling. This is what, why we uplift our voice, man. Because these are the things that are coming. These are the things that are coming. Judgment is coming. This is what we're forewarning you about. They shall be in pain as a woman that travelled. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Yep, their faces are going to be as flames because they're going to be burned the hell up. <laughs> All right? They're gonna be burned the hell up. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Behold, behold, the day of the Lord cometh. The so-called second coming of Yahweh Shai, man, through the order and commandment of the Most High, Yahweh, is coming. Wait a minute, somebody give me the scripture. Uh, even though some men count slackness, it's not slack. Yeah, no. I, might, I might be uh, second, second, yeah. con. Right? As some men count slackness. No, no, no. There's another. I want that one precept, but there's another precept. All right. Although it tarry, wait for it. Shall not tarry. Con. That's what I want. I want that. I, I want. I want scripture in Second Peter, but I want the uh, other scripture. All right. It's Second Peter, chapter three, <coughs> verse. Uh, matter of fact, start up from. There's more to that than Isaiah. All right. 
Well, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. Get to the point. We'll come back to. Second Peter is three and uh. No, start from one. Verse one. This, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds. Yeah. By way so of when we come out, we stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. All right. Those whom the Most High wants to redeem. That's how we come out here. Like Paul said, I endure all things for the sake of the elect. So we're not out here to save every single body, man. We're not out here to save every single body. Read. We teach you your nationality. We teach you your heritage. All right, we teach you the basics and the fundamentals so you can establish your own foundation. Take it upon yourself to start studying these scriptures. So you can receive salvation. I, I can't redeem you. The Most High is the only one who can redeem you. But the way you be redeemed is by studying, rehearsing the uh, commandments, coming out and teaching what you know. All right? And that's, that's called mercy. That's called grace. The only reason why the Most High established that was so we could do what we're doing right now. Read. Verse 2. That you may be mindful of the words which were speaking before by the Holy Prophets. And what were the things that were speaking before by the Holy Prophets? Judgment. All the kingdoms that ruled prior to Great Babylon or America, they all were what? Destroyed. And why were they why were they destroyed? For their wickedness. Because they went against the Most High. They didn't establish the laws. They did whatever the hell they wanted to. And then you got Israel following their oppressors. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Yeah, and that's who, the, the majority of the scoffers are our people, our Israelites. 